Today, I wanna to take you through a detailed tutorial on Canva. I'm also gonna give you some tips and tricks to best utilize this tool for your print-on-demand business. Let's do it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, my name's Kerry, and I'm glad you're here. Let's jump in. So what is Canva? Canva is an online design software that makes designing just about anything really, really easy. And Canva has become incredibly popular uh, for all different types, kinds of business owners and creators and designers, but it is a really, really great tool specifically for print-on-demand sellers, and that's what I wanna dive into today. Let's take a look at some of the features and some of the pricing. So as we look at the sign-up page, uh, you're gonna see some of the features of their two types of accounts right here. We've got Canva free and we've got Canva Pro. So the first thing to know here is that with the free Canva account, you can get some pretty awesome features and the free account is really, really great. It does a lot of things. But I would highly recommend that you go with the Pro option if you are doing print on demand specifically because there's gonna be a lot of features that you will likely need for your print on demand designs that you can only get in the Pro account. Some of the features you're going to need that are only in the pro account include more stock photos, video, audio, and graphics, more fonts, uh, more templates, and even some kind of simple things that you maybe wouldn't think of, like the background remover, which is really, really good inside Canva, and also the option to save your designs with a transparent background, which is crazy useful for t-shirts and clothing design. Taking a look at the pricing, if you go with the yearly option, it's $119.99 for the entire year, or you can do monthly at $12.99 per month. So that means if you go with that yearly option, you're paying about $9.99 per month versus $12.99 if you just pay it each month. We'll talk about this more as we go along, but my recommendation would be that you go with the Canva Pro plan if you are a print-on-demand seller. And by the way, if you like this video and find it helpful and you wanna support our channel and what we do here, make sure you use the link down in the description or go to shirtschool.com Canva to sign up for your Canva account. So jumping into Canva, what you're gonna see inside of a Canva account, now I'm on the Pro plan, you're gonna see a lot of different options, right? Everything from docs, whiteboards, presentations, social media, all this crazy stuff, there is a lot of different things you can do inside Canva and you can really create any kind of graphics that you want. And one of the amazing things is that they're gonna provide a bunch of templates for you to do that. But let's mainly focus on print on demand. So the way that I always start is by hitting this create a design button up here at the top right. And you're gonna see some really popular options like a t-shirt right there. But in most cases, what you're gonna wanna do is click on custom size. And the first thing that you're gonna wanna do if you're creating for print on demand is make sure you check with your print on demand provider and the specific product that you are designing for to get the exact exact dimensions you'll want to put in for your canvas. You can find this information at your print on demand provider's website. And for this example, I'm gonna be using Awkward Styles, but make sure you check with your print on demand provider. So with Awkward Styles, one cool thing is that inside the product catalog, any product that you click on, they're going to give you the file guidelines for your design. So if we look at the Bell and Canvas 3001, we scroll down, we click on file guidelines. It tells us right here that 12 inches by 16 inches is the recommended size of the print file. Now, just to show one more example, if we go over here to this really cool door hanger, so this is different from a t-shirt, right? It's gonna be a different size. We can scroll down, click on file guidelines, and we have front and back with a recommended size of the print file of 4.5 by 9.5 inches. So again, you're gonna wanna look at your, uh, your specific print on demand provider and the product that you're wanting to sell or design for, and you're gonna wanna grab those dimensions and then pop those into Canva. So we're gonna pop back into our Canva account. We're gonna change this from pixels to inches, and we're gonna type in 12 by 16, and then we're gonna hit create new design. And that's gonna take us out and that's gonna create our canvas right here so that we can start designing. To start, I wanna to talk to you about a few really cool tools inside Canva that really set it apart from something like Photoshop and make it super easy to use and quick to get designs done. The first one is under the design tab at the templates section. Now we're gonna see all kinds of templates here for different things, but what I'm gonna type in here is I'm gonna type in t-shirt and you're gonna see that hundreds of templates are gonna come up that are ready made for t-shirts 
that you can edit as much as you want. If I were to click on any of these that have any kind of text in them, uh, like this one that says smile, I could click that and now I can edit everything within this file to the way that I like it, right? And so there are so many here and specifically, if you look at the ones that have this little pro icon, those are the ones that are gonna be uh, exclusively for, for pro users. So again, we almost have an endless supply as we scroll through of templates that we can start from. This makes getting your first designs a breeze and all of this is fully customizable from the colors to the text to even the images that are on there. This just gives you a great template to start with and start getting really high quality pro designs done quickly. Now let's say you're starting from scratch and you don't wanna use one of those templates. If we go over to the elements section, this is where we can not only find things like lines and shapes that we can just pop into our design, but we can also find design elements. So if I were to search here for the term football, it's gonna come up again with hundreds of graphics that we can use for a football design. So we're gonna click on this graphics area right here. We're gonna click see all, and you're gonna see all of these uh, football related graphics that we can just pop into our design for a t-shirt. And this is super helpful, right? Because now we don't have to go and buy these from somewhere else you know, and buy the actual designs or pay a designer. We have all of this really cool art right here at our disposal for us to use. And just so you're aware, with the pro plan, all of these elements can be used commercially, so that means you can actually make money from these. The only stipulation on that is that you have to add some kind of additional element along with it, like text. So if we were to use one of these footballs, let's just pop this one over into here and size it up. We cannot just put this football on the t-shirt. We actually have to add some text with it or add some kind of our own design uh, with it in order to sell it. The last thing I wanna touch on to get unique art is their text to image feature. Now this uses artificial intelligence to turn your text prompts into your own art. So you can type some things into this box here and it will actually come up with art for you that is original art that you can use in your design. Now, in my opinion, the Canva AI art generator is not quite on par with some of the other options out there yet. But if you're doing something very, very simple, it might be useful to you for design. For instance, we just typed in cartoon dog and this is what we got. It gave us four images that are completely original. If somebody else puts in cartoon dog, they will not get these same images. These are uh, original art created by artificial intelligence. And so if this is what you're looking for, it might be useful. When you start to put in some complex stuff like maybe a dog jumping through a field holding a cell phone, uh, it starts to uh, have some issue with that. And they're updating this technology, evolving this technology, but it's not quite there yet at the time of recording this video. But this dog right here is pretty awesome and it might be useful to uh, somebody out there depending on what kind of uh, product that you're designing. And so this could be useful in some situations. Now lately I've been using a lot of AI art to actually create my t-shirt designs. And so what I've been doing is pulling in my own art created by other AI art generators into the Canva canvas and then editing it from there. I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna pull in this image that I had created of two robots because I wanna show you something really cool. If you are importing your own art into Canva, a lot of times it's not going to be uh, quite ready for print on demand. You need to actually doctor it and, and one of the things we need to do a lot is remove the background. So I wanna show you how great the background remover is inside Canva. So if I click on my element right here and I click on edit image, it's gonna bring up the background remover over here on the left. If I just click on that option, within just a few seconds here, it's actually gonna remove the background and make this ready to go for a t-shirt. Boom, just like that, it's removed the background and this design is looking really, really cool. Next, I might wanna add some text to this, so I'm gonna go over on the left and I'm gonna click on this text uh, icon right here and that's gonna bring me to here. So you can click on this add a text box to kind of start from scratch and then you can start editing your text from there, or you can start with one of their pre-made styles uh, for text specifically by just going through here and clicking on the one that you want. Now again, this is so helpful because you instantly get inspiration for something that might look really good with your design, a certain style. For instance, I'm using these cartoon robots that I had created from AI, and maybe this kind of gaming style right here might be good for this design. So I'm gonna click on that, and it's gonna pop it right over here into my design. So next I'm gonna change up the text. I'm just gonna put in some sample text here. We're gonna put bot versus bot 
just to put in some text to have something there. Now, so far, you know, it looks cool, but it's not looking that great. It's not really matching my design. We've got this neon green. So there's a couple really cool things inside Canva that you can do to make it match your design very quickly and easily. If I click on this effects button, there's gonna be a bunch of different effects here that I can apply to it. Now, this one specifically has this glitch uh, effect to it, and I'm actually just gonna take that off. So now I just have text for my design that's just basic text in this font, which I think matches really well. So what I'm gonna do next, and this is a really cool feature I love about Canva, it's super helpful, is if I click on my text right here and I click on the color, it's actually gonna automatically pull the colors from my design so that it can match it really easily. So if I click on this gray, it's gonna match the gray in my design, or click on this orange, it's gonna match the orange, right, and so on and so forth. Maybe we go with this orange. The next thing I wanna do is I don't want it to be on top of like this. I don't want the text to be formatted like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it smaller. So let's make it down to maybe like 100. Whoops, let's make it down. Let's take it down maybe to like 100, maybe even a little bit smaller. Let's make it like 75 and see what that looks like. So there we go. Now we have our text where it's just on one line. So now I can bring it down and now I'm getting closer to some kind of t-shirt design. Another cool thing is if we click on that and we click on that effects button again, they have added this feature called curve, which is really popular with t-shirts. So I'm gonna click on the curve button and it's actually going to curve my text. And there's a couple really cool things you can do here. So first of all, I'm gonna start by just making this a little bit bigger and seeing if I wanna keep it like that. But I think my curve is just too, it's too hard of a curve. So if we just go right here at the bottom, we can actually adjust that out and now it's starting to look really nicely and starting, it's starting to look really nice and fit my design a little bit better. Another quick tip that you can do is you can also adjust the lines, the letter spacing, if it's not looking right. We can adjust that here uh, to, to just make it fit a little bit better if we want. Um, sometimes you might need to do that when you're, when you're doing the, these kind of circular designs. I'm gonna bring it back in though, because I was really liking the way that it looked before. That's looking pretty good right there. And I think that's looking pretty good for a very basic design. Now I would probably continue editing this, adding some stuff to it, but for a very basic design, you kind of see some of the cool stuff you can do here with Canva. Lastly, let's talk about the export process because there are a few tips around exporting your files for print on demand that you wanna be aware of. Once we're ready to export our file and upload it to print on demand, there are a few settings that you wanna make sure you do in Canva and these are only available for the pro plan. So what we're gonna do is click on the share button up here at the right, then we're gonna click on download. And as you see right here under transparent background, we're gonna need to select that for print on demand so that we don't have a big white background on our t-shirt. And you can see right here that there's a little icon that shows us that this is only for pro accounts. So we're gonna check that. And we're also gonna wanna increase this size up to uh, as big as we can go. So somewhere around like three to 3.125. And again, that is a pro feature to be able to upscale this file for print on demand. So we're gonna click on the download button and it's going to download our high quality design that's ready to pop into print on demand. So Canva is such a great tool for all levels of designers to create quick and easy and high quality designs for so many different aspects of business, but specifically for print on demand, this is such an amazing tool. If you wanna try out Canva on the free plan or grab that pro plan, make sure you use our affiliate link down in the description or just go over to shirtschool.com slash Canva. See you soon.